How about that? Santos helps clean up Springfield. Can you believe it? Just like we planned. Come on, honey. You gotta come back. I want you to be able to open your eyes so you can see this for yourself. Got our lives back. You and Robbie can be proud of our name. Michelle. Michelle, you have to come back to me. So that I can make up to you for everything that's happened. So I can make things right again. Hello, Danny. Hi. You're here early. I wanted to stop by on my way to the office. Any change? No, not yet. I see that you brought her the good news. You think this will be able to make up for all that's happened? I hope so. I imagine you have an awful lot to explain to Michelle, you know, especially with all the lies you must have told her while you were working undercover for the feds. Actually, Michelle knew what I was doing. But she doesn't know that it's over. So I'm just going to stay here and keep talking to her until she comes back. Danny, I know that you and I have had our share of disagreements, particularly lately. Ross, that's, believe me, that's the last thing on my mind right now. Well, for me, this needs to be said because I was wrong about you. Having been your attorney a couple of times, I know that you're a good man and Mich Michelle would never have married you if you weren't, but I allowed your former friends and your past reputation to influence me. And now that I know the good things that you were doing, I feel I owe you an apology. Ross, you don't owe me anything. Really. The way things looked after the election, I honestly don't blame you for thinking what you did. So, actually, I've got to make a couple phone calls. Would you, would you mind staying with her for a few minutes? Of course I'll stay with her. Okay, thanks. Listen to this. Bountiful Jupiter. Jupiter is on your side today. So, Scorpio, put all your cares aside because today may just be the day when everything comes to light. Uh oh, <laughs> the horoscopes. Yeah, well, it, it was a good one. And in my defense, and Michelle's, I've already read her the editorial page. Oh, no, it's good, Ross. Rick says we need to be stimulating her, talking to her, reading to her, so it's all good. It's, uh, I just, I meant that I never pegged you for an astrology type of person. I'm not, but I'm married to a Zodiac uh, type of person. Right, right. Blake uh, puts lots of stock in her horoscope, and as for me, I'm for facts and hard evidence. I'll stand by that. Ross the lawyer. Yeah. And I guess that's why I can't seem to let this go. Uh, Danny, of course, I'm familiar with the official investigation of the warehouse explosion. The fire department, the police department, they essentially said that it was a freak accident. Believe me, Ross, if I thought otherwise. Yeah, I know. But while you were working undercover, while you were in the uh, Salerno organization, you must have had a certain access, certain connections. And as mayor, I have certain connections as well. What, what are you saying? I'm saying, Danny, I don't think the explosion was an accident. And if you and I team up, together we can find out who's responsible for what happened to Michelle. You know that I love Michelle more than anything. If you're implying that Salerno is somehow responsible for what happened to her and I allowed it to happen. No, no, Danny, no. But you just told me that Michelle knew that you were working undercover. Right. Now, that in itself could put her in danger. I never would put Michelle in danger. Look, I understand that, Danny. What I want you to know is that if anything comes to mind that would link Vinnie Salerno with the warehouse explosion, 
want you to let me know because I will reopen this investigation in a heartbeat and I will make sure whoever did this to Michelle pays for it. Ross, if there were any evidence the police would have it, I would have been the first one handing it over to them. You were under a lot of stress at the I time. Know. I mean, you were essentially living a dual life. You were dealing with right. Salerno and then you deal with the feds. Maybe something slipped past you. No, no, nothing slipped past me. You know something, after his investigation, Frank Cooper said something very interesting to me. He said that the explosion site was clean, but he thought it was too clean. Mm -hmm. So then why did he close the case? Because there was no physical evidence, but he's still suspicious. And all my instincts are telling me that something is not right. Well, Ross, obviously, if that's true, I totally support getting to the bottom of this. But between you and me, do you really think it's smart for you to be using your office to investigate cases like this? Danny, this is not about my office. It's about my best friend and right. his daughter. And I promise you, I am not going to let this go. I'm going to keep investigating the warehouse explosion until we find out who did this to your family. Thanks for coming to see her. My pleasure, anytime. Oh, what, what about Robbie? It's pretty safe for him to come back, is it? Oh, yeah, it's safe, but I, I don't want him to come back yet. Not yet. I don't want him to see his mother like this, but when she wakes up, I'm going to send for him. You take good care of her. And, uh, listen, if you need help with Robbie, Blake and I will be happy to babysit any time. Thanks. What's going on in that pretty head of yours? What are you thinking with all this talk going on around you? How much do you know? I miss you so much, baby. I miss our boy. I miss coming home to you. Telling you about my day and hearing about yours. Michelle, you have to come back. This is supposed to be a good time for us. It's the first day of our fresh start. Michelle, wake up. Come back to me. Michelle. 